country. What you Nigeria is like going to a hotel and sleeping with a woman with 1,005 without enjoying her. Nigeria is a stupid country, so company. Tell us, is there hope for Nigerians? No, uh, the only hope we have for Nigeria is if God will intervene and change our leadership. Okay. Our leadership is too bad that we have nobody to comprehend with. So, what will you say of this Tinubu uh, administration? The worst that has ever come to mankind. <laughs> Is the worst that I ever come to mankind. Hundred percent. Buhari is more better than uh, Tunumbu. But that time, if you complain, say Buhari was. Buhari. I have no PVC. I voted for nobody. Okay. They are all worst. Okay. Okay. Yes. What's the solution now? What is this energy? Almighty God, they re 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 intervening with Nigeria. If not, if if it is for our own rulers, nothing is going to come out. Nigeria is falling down, and it's now a company so to somebody that have somebody somewhere not to go. Tunumbu must surely pray for what is happening to us today. I'm not enjoying this country. You know they enjoy the country. I know they enjoy the country. Tell us your experience, sir. My experience is that the government we are now, is they, are, they, are, they don't bother to know how we live, how we survive. In fact, as I'm talking to you now, mm. any little money that enters my hand now will just jump out come up for this country. As a transport I be, sir. As a transport, I'm finding it very difficult. Even I can't make my normal savings in a day, assistance like this now, because everything is going to Tinubu. Tinubu? Yeah. Uh, they collect your money? Yeah, uh, and they collect my money. They pay everything now to them. What is the solution? Uh, the solution, the solution is for him just to resign if he don't know what to do there. All right, thank you, thank you. Egbe, hey, what? country is moving now. Uh, uh, and looking at this country as something that is moving to division, because we are... We are no longer happy of what is happening in this country. Uh, the government has failed us. The government has failed us. We are not happy. As I'm talking to you now, I've been believing God to, to, to travel out of this country. So uh, we are not happy anymore for this country. So you go jackpot if you get the opportunity. Eh? So what do you think is the solution to Nigeria? The solution to this country, the solution to this country now, that this country, this country to divide. We need a disintegration. We need this country to to be divided. So let Ibos go and some other ethnic let them go. So do we have rest? Because ah, uh, Tunumbu administration, we are. We are not happy for this Tulumbu administration. All the promises uh, Tulumbu have, he gave to us. No one has. He has not done anything. He told us that the first of four months, when he stepped in, that he's going to fix our refinery. As I'm talking to you, nothing has been done. The refinery has not yet built. So we are not happy. And we are in March now. Eh? We are in March now. Nothing has been done. So we are not happy with you. So what is happening? Now to integrate this country, right. so that we have our own uh, country. Your own country, which is your country, sir? My own country. I have been talking to you. It's functional. It's not functional. Things are not moving well. But you support them before, now, generally. It, the person we supported was Peter Obi, but eventually it happens to be the person of Tinubu. So we support him too as the president because he had come to emerge. So uh, we supported him um, make him the, 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 the controller of uh, the societies. But right now, what we hope for is not what we are seeing. That is our major problem now. No joy. No joy. The, common, the common man, the common man, the common man in this country cannot put a, 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 a three square man on his table, which is very, very fucked up. It is not fair. Now, as you can see, the country is not moving. The cost of things got rise. Any moment, you just see things, things, things will just stop uh, money. You go to the market and you buy uh, uh, rice for, for 300 naira. The next day you go to the market again, you see it for 400 naira. So things are not stabilized. Things are not stabilized. What do you think can do to hold them accountable? Um, we cannot bring them to bull because even the, 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 the 99 constitution, they said that um, 
that anything that concerns the, 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 the politicians, that they are not uh, apart, that they are, they, are, they are, you know, they are not, um, you know, a part of that. They are not part of that. So uh, it seems as if the politicians, their lifestyles and their doings are different. So how can we hold them accountable? We cannot do that. Even the EFCC could not hold them accountable. Why are we the common persons? So what I'm standing here to say, that Nigeria had expired. Nigeria had expired, and they could not push it. They had tried their possible best for them to push it, but they could not. So the problem there is for the country to be divided. So that the Niger Delta people will go their own path, the Oluduwas will go their own path, the Indibos will go their own way, and the Nottama will go their own way. Let me tell you, in 1914, Lord Lugard, Lord Lugard amalgamated the three regions, and they were worried that they are not the same people. So Lord Lugard now told them, that they should endure, they should endure for 100 years, that anybody that seems, that seems, you know, uh, uh, intimidated should, can be departed. You know, since then, till now, 2014, it has completed. And in that Congress, the Niger Delta man was not there. The people that went for that um, amalgamation was the Easternan, being the Igbo people. There was no Niger Delta person. So right now, we stand as the Niger Delta people and the whole sufferings we are suffering. We, our, people, our people could not go to farm. Our people could not go to fishing any longer. Our life, our life, our livelihood has been has been, you know, has been, you know, ravaged by, by, by chemicals, you understand, by chemicals. They had polluted the whole place. They had polluted the whole place. Which one we don't need near? We are in the live. You know you are rep. You know you are senator. You know we are in the live. You know you are... We are in your own country, town. You don't know his house. So who are you going to hold? So no, no. Even common councillor. He don't throw close to you. So no hope for Nigeria. No hope, no day. Now God will the hope on. Not before the country. All right, David. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you. <laughs> you know, how the country do okay. Nothing happened to the country. People Con are complaining now that this About is the worst. Presidency administration in the history of Nigeria. There is no way human being will not complain. As far as you are living, people.